Today in the Daily Dose, Pandemic Typhoid. Characterized by a slow progressive fever and prolific diarrhea, typhoid became known as one of the most feared conditions throughout the 19th century. Today we know that typhoid is dependent upon humans for transmission. Passed victim to victim via poor sanitation or contamination by human waste. Very little is known about the early history of typhoid. However, many historians believe that typhoid took the lives of more than 6,000 settlers in the English colony of Jamestown, Virginia between 1607 and 1624. During the American Civil War, Records indicate that over 81,000 Union troops died from either typhoid or dysentery. And then there's the bizarre case of Mary Mallon, better known as Typhoid Mary, a social predicament which set new legal boundaries regarding the rights of the individual versus public safety at large. In the summer of 1906, New York banker Charles Henry Warren rented a summer home from the Thompson family of Oyster Bay, Long Island. Besides the usual cadre of maids and gardeners, Warren hired a young Irish immigrant, Mary Mallon, to be the family's summer cook. On August 27th, one of the Warren's daughters fell ill with typhoid fever, followed by Mrs. Warren, two maids, a gardener, and a second Warren daughter. Fearing that no one would ever rent their summer home again, the Thompsons hired experienced typhoid investigator George Soper to investigate the outbreak. Suspecting Mary Mallon as the carrier, Soper traced her employment history back to 1900. In the process, Soper discovered that Mallon had held seven jobs as a cook, sickening 22 people with typhoid and causing the death of one young girl. When Mallon refused to give Soper the necessary samples required for a positive identification of typhoid, he returned with Dr. Josephine Baker and five police officers. Instead of submission, Mallon lunged at Soper with a carving fork before fleeing the scene. When the police finally caught up with her five hours later, They were forced to literally sit on Mallon as they transported her to the health department on North Brother Island. Believing that she was being unfairly persecuted, Mary Mallon began a long string of legal battles in an effort to regain her freedom. I never had typhoid in my life, she emphatically maintained. Why should I be banished like a leper and compelled to live in solitary confinement with only a dog for a companion? After four years of imprisonment, Mallon was set free on the promise that she would never cook again for other people. In January of 1915, nearly five years after her release, the Sloan Maternity Hospital in Manhattan suffered a typhoid outbreak. 25 people became ill with two confirmed fatalities. Evidence pointed to a recently hired cook, one Mrs. Brown, a pseudonym an enraged public would soon learn for one Mary Mallon. Mallon was sent back to North Brother Island, this time for the remainder of her natural life. 17 years later, she suffered a massive stroke, which crippled her with complete left side paralysis. She died six years after that on November 11, 1938, after spending over half her life in solitary confinement. And there you have it, the filth disease typhoid. Today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.